Hi everyone, I hope you are doing well. So in this video, we are going to discuss Geeks or Geeks problem of the day and today's problem is check if all leaves are at same level and it is an easy level problem. So the problem is very straightforward. It says that we have been given a binary tree and uh, we just have to figure out whether all the leaves in this particular tree are at the same level or not. For example, you can clearly see that in this uh, tree, 2 and 3 are the leaves and they are at the same level. Now, in this second example, 10, 15 and 30 are the three different leaves but they are at different levels. And uh, you can consider the level to be the depth of this particular node from the root node. So, for example, 30 is at depth 1 and uh, this, these two nodes are at depth 2. Right, if you start, if you consider this as 0. Now, uh, we just have to figure out whether all the leaves are at same level or not. For this, uh, I don't think uh, there is need of any explanation. I can just directly show you my code. Uh, one way, one simple way of doing this is just having a data structure like a set or even a map would work. Right. So what are we going to do in the set? We are just going to calculate the depth of each of these nodes. Now whichever node is a leaf node, how can we identify whether a node is a leaf node? A leaf node will have both of its children null. We are going to insert the depth in the values set that we have created. Now at the end the size of this value set should be equal to 1. Now if you are worried about having too many values in your value set, what you can do is as soon as your size of your value set becomes greater than 1, then you can just try to return from there. Right? Why? Because if the size is greater than 1, that means there are at least two different values of this particular depth. Right. So, they are not going to be at the same level anyways. So, what you can do is, what I have done here is, first of all, I have just created a DFS function with the root node and pass 0 to it. If my node is null pointer, I am just going to return. Otherwise, I am I call DFS on the left and DFS on the right half as well by passing D plus 1. Right. Now, if both of the left and the right children are null pointer, I am just going to insert this D into my value set. Now here I can also add one thing that if values dot size is greater than 1 then I am just going to return I am not going to perform any of these operations right. So that will help me to avoid unnecessary addition of values into my values set. At the end what I can do is if values dot size equals to 1 I can just return true. This is because I need only one unique value of the depth or the level right. If the values set size is greater than 1 that means there are at least two different levels of the leaf nodes right so this was all about this particular problem let me just quickly submit this and show you that this particular code works and the solution is correct so you see this passes all the test cases and this solution is absolutely correct i hope that you guys were able to understand the solution if you guys did then consider dropping a like on this video and don't forget to share thoughts in the comments because your engagement with this video really really helps the youtube algorithm to understand that this video is actually helpful for you and if you will be able to reach much more people like you who want to keep solving new problems. So that is it for today. Till the next video drops, keep coding, stay safe, bye bye.